Hi, I'm John Gilbert with the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society, and I'm here today with Mr. Michael Taylor of U.S. Aid. That's right. And he's here uh, on our marine zoning project, and I'd like for him to kind of tell the people of Nevis pretty much what is U U.S. Aid's role in, in the marine zoning in Nevis and St. Kitts. Okay, probably what I can say is that uh, the, the mission, U.S. Aid, we have over the last three years, we've had some funding which we got from Washington, and we've started to examine an interest in the biodiversity. So okay. The funding was specific for biodiversity and biodiversity conservation. Right. Um, the first year, we provided some assistance under our existing program, which was with the what is known as the COTS program. Okay. Um, and we didn't have a biodiversity element, but we were able to start a biodiversity element and we were essentially in Dominica and Antigua and Barbuda. Okay. Trying to conserve some sites on those uh, on the islands. We were you successful? You did? We think we were. Okay. We did a lot of right. quarries and we also did with some trails okay. in, Antigua, yeah. in Dominica. And in Antigua we worked with the Environmental Awareness uh, Unit. Um, yeah, okay, EAG. At EAG. Yeah. yeah. And we also worked in the Cotrito Lagoon to try to fix, uh, there was a breach um, in the lagoon right, caused by right, the hurricane right, which right. we were able to repair. Great. Uh, the second year we got some additional funding which we made available to the OECS Secretariat and they started what is known as the PER project, the acronym, uh, Protection of the Eastern Caribbean Region's Biodiversity. All right. Uh, out of that we've identified a number of selected sites one of which is the Nevis, Nevis Peak. Yes. And right. where there are some challenges there related to physical development, which we are hoping to work with government and with the community to alleviate. Okay. And other selected, other countries that identified community type projects or projects which could engender community involvement. And we are working to try to bring the biodiversity component, the conservation right. of the biodiversity um, around those areas. Uh, the third area, or the third project, is now relating to the Nature Conservancy, which we approved in April of this year. Mm -hmm. And under that program, there are various components of which one is the zoning. Um, we are trying, we've se identified uh, Sikits and Nevis as the select country that we want to see to what extent pilot, that we can pilot project, as a pilot yeah. program. Right, right. So this meeting today, this is the initial workshop yeah. and kind of launch of the program. Right. Um, right where we want to bring all those persons or entities who would be involved in some way to see some barrier to start the dialogue to see exactly how people feel about where particular activities are located um, on the usually the shoreline of both Nevis and, and Sikis. Right. So hopefully over the today and tomorrow we'll be able to start that dialogue. Um, it will run for about an 18 month program mm -hmm. and it possibly could be extended. But we want to start the dialogue and hopefully as we go forward to get some legislation in place, identify right. certain activities. But the whole idea is to get the people involved in the discussion. It's, uh, kind of it's, it's not a US aid or a TNC, right. but TNC implementing what the people from St. Yeah. Kitts and Nevis would want. Uh, for Sounds exciting to me. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the people of St. Kitts and Nevis are looking forward to this project. By the amount of people that's in this room today, I think we counted over 30 some people here. So there is interest from those who do work or have some sort of connection to the marine environment of St. Kitts and Nevis. So we're looking forward to this. Um, I can assure you that the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society will be there to support the project all the, all the way through. And we're very pleased to have USAID here with us. I too am very pleased that you and his friend came to the room and saw there was a full pack house. Yes. That means that people are interested in hopefully yeah. what we are trying to do. And we hope that maybe as we go forward, it may be another opportunity for another interview six yes. months down the road. And we can see how we're see doing. How we that's right, months. absolutely. And by yeah, 18 months, fits. I hope yeah. we'll be able to say that we together have been able to accomplish something in terms of the allocation of various industries and right. investments on the coastline. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You Taylor. Very much too. Okay, yes. all right.